My name is Thomas Geisinger and I will present small legal tech snippets on our brand new Riot Info channel. Today's topic is the legal laser measurement principle, the time of flight measurement principle. This principle is based on knowing the exact speed of light and measuring time extremely accurate. The legal measurement principle is used on all our instruments in ALS, ULS, MLS and TOS. This animation shows a terrestrial laser scanner. The laser pulse is sent and runs with the speed of light is reflected on the facade and finally we detect a very small echo amplitude. We are measuring the exact time between laser pulse emission and echo pulse detection. And this time difference is multiplied by the speed of light and divided by two because the laser, the light has to go both directions to the facade and back. But the result is the exact range. Sounds very simple, but the key is the exact me time measurement. As you can see on this animation, the target uh, situation is not always that clear. There can be a tree in front of the facade. In that case, the laser hits several leaves and finally the facade and our scanners are detecting all these echoes and we are providing multiple target capability, which means we can detect up to 15 targets on a single laser shot. But let's come back to the measurement principle. Um, as you can read from our specs, we are measuring range within millimeters. So how accurate do we have to measure time to get millimeter accuracy on speed of light? We see here a table of the subscale of a second and we, we are measuring the time with an accuracy of a picosecond. A picosecond is the tenth to the power of minus twelve of a second. In other words, it is the millionth of a millionth of a second. This value is really incredible, isn't it? See you next time on this channel when presenting the next video text. Have a nice day. Bye.